Hello, everybody. Jose Rodriguez back again. We are back from our vacation in Wisconsin. We went to Milwaukee to visit my wife's sister, and we had a wonderful time. Wow, what a beautiful city. I tell you, it is just, just beautiful. And if it wasn't for the fact that I have Nathan here and my daughters and my son, I would really consider moving there because it is simply one of the most desirable places I've ever been to and would not mind living there at all. So anyway, why are we here today? Okay, why are we here today? Because I just found out something really hot. The real truth about the Canon Pro 100 cleaning cycles. You're going to want to hear this, so please stay tuned. Welcome back, and if this is the first time you land on this channel, I am absolutely sure you are interested in producing beautiful photo prints at home, such as these. These are done in common printers available today to everyone. And since you are here, please consider subscribing and make sure you click on that bell so that you don't miss anything we upload. Now, like I said before, this was hot news and I just came across it from an actual user who figured it out. Now, I have to do my own independent testing. Of course, I never rely on third-party sources for information. I have to do my own testing. So that is coming up soon. But let me tell you what this person and also another person discovered. Now, here's the deal. The Pro 100, as everyone just about knows by now, it has those time cleaning cycles. And everyone thought because of the information that was leaked from the 9500 Mark II, that it would be 60 hours, 120 hours, 240 and 480. Well, there was a little bit of a misconception. These cleaning cycles are not just from the last time you print it, okay? But actually from the last time you had a cleaning cycle performed. Uh-oh. So now that means that the Canon PIXMA Pro 100 and 100S auto cleaning cycles will occur. This is for the 100 and 100S because it's a die printer, okay? So it does not require as many cleaning cycles to stay free running. They will occur at 120 hours plus one second and 480 hours and one second. What does that mean? Does that mean that if I print something, it will reset that timer? No, not at all. It will not do that any longer. And that wasn't the case to begin with. So yes, we were all wrong. We apparently, or maybe the translation of the information on the leaked service manual for the 9500 was basically misunderstood by most of us. Printing will not restart the timer. Only a cleaning cycle will. Keep that in mind. Let's continue. Whether you initiated it or it was triggered by the 120 or 480 hour clock. Internally, the printer has a clock. So let's just say that I decide to run a cleaning cycle and I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna do one at say 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday. So I will then proceed to make prints day one, day two, day three, day four, day eight. Five. So that will get me up to 120 hours. I'm going to do a print just prior to the 120 hours. So say, for instance, it'll be at 9.55 on the fifth day. So that should give me just under 120. It should not run a cleaning cycle. Then I will proceed to do a print just after 10 o'clock that should trigger a cleaning cycle. So that is the way this is working now. At that point with the Pro 100, I can then go another 120 hours without any problems. So that means that for the next five days, I can print at whatever rate I want to, and it should not trigger a cleaning cycle. 
It will be then triggered automatically, whether I print or not. That's the key, whether I print or not. After the 120 hour time limit has passed, it will run a cleaning cycle the next time I try to print. I could, of course, not print for 480 hours, okay? And it will then run a cleaning cycle after that. It will be a more massive cleaning cycle. But yeah, every 120 hours, that's the time limit. Oh, what if I just print, print, print? No, it doesn't matter. It will run a cleaning cycle, okay? Whether you initiate it manually or it initiates it automatically after that 120 hours. So it could be 120 hours and one second. It could be 140 hours. It will still run the cycle designated by the 120 hour limit that just went by, okay? Whether you print it or not, isn't that something? It's very confusing, but I'm gonna do a video and I'm gonna go ahead and test this theory. And I'm also going to test, God forbid, the 480 hour time limit and see what that does to my ink cards. You know, who knows? So you can print all you want, but it will not cancel those two critical schedule cleaning cycles. That's it. So we thought we could run nozzle checks and that will then restart that timer, but that's not the case. So say right now, hour zero, I start a cleaning cycle on my own. At this point, it'll start counting 120 hours. If I print every hour for the next 120 hours, it will not run a cleaning cycle until I exceed the 120 hours plus, we'll say, one minute. Then the next print will be preceded by a cleaning cycle. That's it. But again, take this with a grain of salt. I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna test it thoroughly. And then I will have the data available because I have the printers to do that. Now, you might ask yourself, well, gee, what about the Pro 10? What about the Pro 1? What about this monster right here, the Pro 1000? Does that apply as well? I think so but I think it'll be a lot sooner than 120 hours. I think it'll be maybe 60 hours, maybe even less. Who knows? This thing behaves in very strange ways. I have been printing to it using QImage Ultimate, doing these types of perch sheets every two days. That is under the original 60 hour thought. I increased it to three days and I'm gonna try to check at 10 o'clock in the morning when it starts to print, it's, all of the printers come alive, by the way, at 10 in the morning. I'm going to be here to check to see what do I hear prior to printing, okay? And that will tell me. Then after, say, 60 hours have passed, technically, if it is 60 hours rather than 120 hours, which is five days, then after two and a half days, whether I've been printing every two days or not, it should run a cleaning cycle. That's what I am suspecting will happen. So very interesting information. Again, that is why, unlike Epson, although that PA-100 over there in the 3880s that I have will run cleaning cycles if I you know, forget to print on them for a whole month before I can start printing, it'll run a cleaning cycle that may or may not unclog any possible nozzles that may have been clogged due to my month long, you know, neglect. Well, these printers do not allow you to have that luxury. They will run that cleaning cycle on you. They will keep you on your toes, in other words. And chances are you will never experience any clogged nozzles, assuming of course, nothing else happens normal operating conditions, your printer is working perfectly. You should never have a clogged nozzle because the printer will take care of that for you, like it or not. So the Pro 100 dye ink printer, maybe it only needs it every 120 hours, but the pigment printers may be a lot more frequent. All of that I will be testing and the data will be published, okay? 
So that's what I'm going to be doing as I, as I go along during the week. Now, today my sister landed in Baltimore. She's here with her boyfriend. This is his 10th year anniversary of beating cancer. So he's going to Johns Hopkins University Hospital to meet up with his doctors and kind of celebrate a little bit. So, And then Friday, I believe we're going to take Nathan up to Baltimore and meet them. And we'll do the Inner Harbor. So that is it. Thank you so much. There's going to be a lot more as I compile all of the work that I have left while I was away, kind of a bucket list of things that I needed to do for videos. So don't worry, that's coming. And also paper testing, of course, and all of that stuff. I am going to also, in the sublimation side of things, I'm receiving a new product that I'm going to be testing. And so that should really provide us with a lot of options for sublimating onto many different types of substrates. That's going to be fun for you sublimation fans. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for subscribing, sharing, and liking. Keep watching the videos, folks. We've had a slump in the views lately. This month is, of course, July and, and June is vacation month. So that's expected. So please continue to share, continue to support the channel any way you can so that we can continue to produce the best videos and bring you the best and most current information for you guys to digest and enjoy. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.